In the mid-19th century, the talented American entrepreneur Charles Forster came up with a very creative method of promoting his product toothpicks. The problem was the complete lack of demand for them. Americans were accustomed to making their own toothpicks by hand. Spending money on something that could easily be made in a couple of minutes didn't make much sense at the time. The task was challenging, not only to create demand but also to fundamentally change entrenched consumer habits and attitudes. So what clever scheme did Charles Forster come up with? The people he hired, usually poor students, went to stores and asked to buy toothpicks. Wealthier individuals, also recruited by the entrepreneur, demanded toothpicks in eateries, cafes, and restaurants. Store and restaurant owners admitted that they unfortunately didn't have such a product. Disappointed customers then left with their money. And some of them, with a flair for acting, even caused a minor scene, saying, this is outrageous. It's a disgrace. Mr. Smith's store on Main Street has toothpicks, and you don't. And then, by some incredible coincidence, you might even say by a miraculous turn of events, Charles Forster would appear at the doorstep, offering his toothpicks. Merchants, restaurateurs, and snack bar owners happily bought them. Thanks to this clever tactic, demand increased, sales soared, and production volumes reached astronomical levels. By the end of the 19th century, America was producing 5 billion toothpicks annually, with more than half of them coming from Charles Forster's company. That's how some cunning individuals managed to make millions on such trivial things like toothpicks. It's mind-boggling.